What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon White 2 walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through the Flossessi Ranch, found ourselves a Herdier, returning back to his owners, got ourselves a uh, Ace back onto the team, yes, temporarily, maybe, I don't know, it depends on what my mood is going on forward, but now it is time for us to go straight to the gym, because, uh, yeah, we need to earn that very first badge. Now, before we leave anywhere, Draven! Akuma is up there, and he's like, oh, jumping down from the hill right there. I wish I could do that. Seriously, superhero landing is always a good thing. Excuse me, I forgot to tell you something important. First, take these. We get ourselves a few Orin Berries, which is pretty dang good. And, uh, well, let's see. What else does he have to say? Those are Orin Berries. If you give one to your Pokemon, its HP will be restored. <laughs> What's more, you can give your Pokemon a berry to hold, like... This Orin Berry, for instance, we, when Pokemon holds the berry, it can eat the berry if it gets hurt in the heat of battle and regain some of its HP that it's lost. Well, I just told you to challenge the Gym Leader. Esperance Gym Leader is a very strong Pokemon trainer, but you have nothing to worry about. If you think hard about what the Pokemon your, uh, your, uh, your Pokemon at your side can do and what you, uh, you should do as a trainer, victory will be yours. And then you should take on stronger and stronger trainers. Actually, take take on the gym leaders of each city. Working together with your Pokemon is what makes you grow as a trainer. As for you and your Pokemon grow stronger, your world will be uh, will get broader, which is true, very very true. So let's go right ahead and take a look at the Pokemon we got. Okay, so yeah, off screen training my Pokemon. It was intense. I got side to get to level 15 and Ace at level 12, and it, it was all done at the Flossessi Ranch. Now off screen, I did capture some of those Pokemon that I used in the original Y2 walkthrough, like Mind Duck, Goku, uh, Fluffle. Now those Pokemon will be, how should I say? They will be in my PC, but they will grow. Uh, they will grow uh, going into the game right here for later episodes, like way, way, way later episodes. I want to say that they will be in that same level that they were at when I left them in their previous iterations that I used, like Pokemon X and Y, I believe. Yeah, but I'm not going to be using them right here. Like, I'm not going to be using them right now, right here, because, yeah, they're not really going to, they're not really part of the plan right here. So, here we are in our Esper Esperture City. Let's go right ahead and heal up my Pokemon first. Okay, so, here we are back, and, uh, well, we're ready to go. Esperture City, home of the very first gym. Yes, and it happens to be the trainer school, too. The leader happens to be Charon, if you guys don't remember. Yes, he is our old, uh, our old rival slash friend from the Pokemon Black and White series. As you can see, this is a Pokemon school. Now, first thing is first. It doesn't sound like a bad idea to use the Orin Berries that we were given. So let's go ahead and give some of these Orin Berries to... Oh, wow. Ace ha is holding a revive, th thanks to the, the, the pickup ability. And let's give Psy of the Torrent or a Mary just in case, because yes, this is going to be one of those battles that you know you're, you're going to definitely need to actually uh, have your Pokemon nice and ready for. So let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go ahead and save the game. Let's speed up the button right here. Thanks to the speed button. Yes, speed button away. And let's go right ahead. Now, in my last take, believe it or not, guys, this is the reason why I'm saving the game. I won the very first batch, and I accidentally, I accidentally uh, shut off my game without saving it. Yeah, and it returned me all the way back to the very beginning, the instructions and everything. Thank Jeebus for the whole, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, the whole speed button, because that would have been bad right here. Now, let's see, this guy is going to give us some X defense, which is great, and well, this guy right here is going to be telling us, you know, you can... Uh, you know how to, or wait, wait, hold on, you know how you can have your Pokemon hold items? Well, it seems like they don't know how to use items made by people, like potions, which is true. Man-made items, they don't know how to use, but you know, those, like berries, they can actually use very, very well. So, let's go straight into the gym, and as you can see, the only man that's ever believed in us is right there. He's like, hello, I'm Clyde, the guide for trainers who challenge Pokemon gyms. Thank you for taking uh, taking the, uh, taking on the gym, or take on the gym. Take this to commemorate your debut, and we get ourselves a fresh water, which is always great. 
Pokemon gyms are facilities for testing trainers abilities. Put simply, if you can defeat the gym leader, it means the gym leader, it, it means that you're a really good trainer. If you run out of Pokemon that can fight during the Pokemon battle, you lose. So having a lot of Pokemon with you might work out to your advantage. That is true, guys. This is what I've been learning in the very first few episodes here. And, well, you must be a challenger. Welcome to the Aspersion City Gym. I'm Jared, the gym leader. Hmm. Well, maybe I'd better say I just became a gym leader. More importantly, we need to prepare before welcoming you to the gym. We, we have a challenger. You two take your places. If you can defeat these two, then I'll be your opponent. Okay, so this place is a normal type gym. Now, originally I had planned to actually have Riolu on my team until I you know, decided against it. So this is going to be the very big challenge right here. Now, getting Riolu to learn Force Palm requires you to like really grind it out to level 16, 17, or 18. The reason I say those three numbers is because I don't really remember, okay? But, going up against these normal type gym leaders, or normal type people right here. Yeah, it may look like a pushover kind of thing, but no, you guys have to see it from a, from a strategic standpoint. Because these guys like to use workup as a as a boost up move. The more workups they use, the more yeah, the more ass whoopings you're gonna get. And well, here we go with the water gun. And well, that's not really gonna work very much, but right here we're gonna be going for another water gun again. And then bam! There it is. Defeated. So I have the torrent, get some more experience points, and he's gonna be coming out with the Lillipup. So let's continue on right here with Sai. And let's go, let's continue on with the water gun attack because of that special, that special thing. And well, look at that, half its HP gone. And there goes another, well, another stat, stat destroyer right there. Look at that. Okay, here we go. Water gun for the win. And there goes another Pokemon. Pedro has been defeated. What now? Oh, okay, if you can defeat the girl, if you can defeat the girl too, you can challenge the gym leader. Okay, so let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Let's go straight into Ace Stoutland from Scotland, you know, my old buddy. Let's go ahead and take on her. And he's like, now that now I'll show you all of the things I learned from Charon. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna be taking on Last Serena, and she has two Pokemon herself, so let's see what our good old buddy Ace can do right here. What do you got? Ace versus Lillipup. And we got a bite attack right here. And yeah, that's not really gonna work, but here's a cool thing. Normal type, normal type Pokemon, boom. Tackle attack has become a little bit stronger. Maybe like 20%, I don't know, 10, 30. I don't know, comment down below guys. Educate me, educate me just a little bit. And Ace grows just a little bit. And here comes a Patrap. So let's go right ahead and continue on with this battle right here. Going in straight for a tackle. And the tackle attack nearly beats this guy. And well. Alrighty, here we go. Tackle attack yet again. Oh my god. And there goes Patrap. And well, say hello to level 13. And well, Serena has been defeated. <laughs> She's complimenting us and everything right there. Okay, so okay, you're pretty good, but can you beat Charon? Yes, I can. It's just I gotta kill up my Pokemon and I gotta I gotta be ready for what, what comes ahead because yeah. I learned okay. Okay, so I just remembered how it happened, alright? So I nearly get beat, or I get beat by Charon, so I had a I have to shut off the, 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 the game and bring it back and it brought me back to uh, the very first episode. So yeah, that's how it happened right there. So make sure to save your game, guys. Seriously, trust me. Like, yeah, save your game because you won't like what you won't like what will happen right here if you don't. So let's go ahead and switch out Sigh of the Torrent right here. And let's see what happens when we take on our good old buddy Charon right here. Hmm, clicking his heels. He's like, just as this, uh, just as this is your first gym challenge, this is my first, uh, my first Pokemon battle as a gym leader. Let's both do our best and have a Pokemon battle to be that we can be proud of. 
So here it is, guys, our very first gym battle, and it's against our good old buddy, Charen. 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 And, well, here he comes out with a patch rat. Now, these guys are normal type trainers. Pushovers and everything. The best way to go is either get yourself a fire type Pokemon, Tad Pig, and evolve it. Uh, or get Riolu, but if you go strategic right here, then everything will be just fine. It's just, you know, you gotta, you gotta be very strategic because they like to use work up attack, and that right there boosts up their special attack and their physical attack. And yeah, you don't want to go up against a little pup uh, when it has a, a, a boost up attack like that. So there it is. We defeat Patra, and here comes a little pup. So what we're going to do right now is continue on with this onslaught right here. Level 13, Lilpa. It is going to buff up its stats. It is a little bit faster than us, but luckily for us, we can actually go with a water gun attack. Hit it quite a few times. And it looks like to me, this guy is actually going to like you know try and hit us first. And luckily for us, we got an Oran Berry that we got held up. And there we go. We're about to beat this guy right here. So here comes another tackle attack. Now, in the other version, in the other iteration, um, well, in the previous, uh, <laughs> oh, crud, he heals up his Pokemon. He boosts up his Pokemon's attack with Workup. And, yeah, this is going down to the nitty-gritty. And, wow, nearly beating us right there. But there it is, guys. We defeat Lillipup with another water gun and we grow to level 16, sigh of the torrent, kicking some butt, taking some names, just like always. There we go, yes, this is a real Pokemon battle. And uh, we don't evolve yet. Wow, I usually evolve a Pokemon like that. <laughs> that, battle, that battle has made me feel really glad that you were my first challenger as a gym leader. I'll give you this in an I give you this in honor of the strength of you and your Pokemon shows. And just like that, guys, we get ourselves, bam, the basic badge. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Basic badge. Dig it. Okay. Here's your first uh, gym badge, the basic badge. This is a, an important milestone. With the badge, Pokemon up to level 20 will obey you, including traded Pokemon. And I want you to take this. We get ourselves the TM83, which is Workup. Great move that can actually help us out in the long run. TM83 can teach your Pokemon uh, the move Workup. When you use Workup while battling, it raises the user's attack and special attack. By the way, you uh, TMs can be used as many times as you want. In the Unova region, there are eight Pokemon ba uh, gyms and gin badges. If you're a trainer, you could collect all of them. That will be a, or that will make it easier fill, or that will make it easier to fill uh, the pages in the Pokédex. Yes, two years ago, Pokédex in hand, I left on a journey with my friends. You did, didn't you? Okay, so there it is, guys. We got our fir first badge. I thought it would be a little bit tougher. I thought this guy would actually go with like you know work up attack frenzy and then just beat me, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so yeah, I actually thought that he was going to go with more workup, but no, I we got lucky right here. Anywho, once we step out, Bianca's like, hey! How was it? How did your Pokemon battle with uh, the gym leader go? Oh, if it isn't the basic badge. Wow, amazing. And you just set off on your Pokemon journey with your Pokemon. You definitely have potential as a trainer. I'm sure of it. This is from me. It's a TM, from a, it's a TM for the move Return. And there it is, guys. First three episodes. First five episodes, I should say. Three pretty rare TMs right here. When a Pokemon knows return, the more it gets along with the trainer, the more powerful the move is. Still, that Charon. And look at that. Friends reunite. Bianca! It's been two years, hasn't it? Oh, wow. What's up? I thought it would be a good idea to register each other at the in the cross transceiver. Now, now you can communicate with uh, with me from your cross transceiver. Me too. And look at that, we got ourselves uh, more phone numbers. And well, would you look at that? We're getting a phone call. What is it? Well, hello there. Professor Juniper is looking pretty fine right here, like fine wine. Hi there, Draven. I'm Professor Juniper. Bianca told me you accepted the Pokédex. Thank you so much. 
thank you uh, thanks to you we will know more about the pokemon that we will uh, the, the pokemon and able to get along with uh, them even better hi professor juniper it's really interesting over here there are so many more uh, so many pokemon we couldn't prove uh, uh, were here two years ago thank you for going uh, so far uh, for this errand bianca and churn how are you enjoying being a gym leader professor juniper it's been a long time i'm glad you're doing well the gym leader position is very tough if i had my usual partners oh Charon, having battles uh, that come down to the wire will make you a gym leader to deepens his bond between your challengers and your po and their pokemon right it'll be fine Charon's a new gym leader i'm an i'm an assistant to a pokemon professor and draven is a new trainer again but we always have pokemon by our sides that's right, Bianca. Our, po our world is a world where we live with Pokemon. Everyone, keep that in mind as you pursue your dreams with your Pokemon. Particularly you, uh, Draven. The Pokedex may be important, but first enjoy your journey with your Pokemon to your heart's content. And there it is. We, 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 we're we going to definitely enjoy this uh, this adventure. Hey, Draven. Isn't Professor Juniper cool? If you talk to her in the cross chance series, she'll evaluate the completeness of your Pokedex or tell you a lot about how Pokemon evolve. And you can call us too, of course. I'll tell you how well you and your Pokemon are getting along, okay? Bianca makes a good point. I'll, I'll tell you what I know about Pokemon abilities and Pokemon type matchups. Oh, well, look at that. And well, oh wow, Hugh. Oh damn, Hugh is like, are you the gym leader? One, two, three, let's battle! You look like a tough trainer. Understood, please come into my Pokemon gym. This guy is like, oh wow. What was that weak answer? I'm definitely going to take you down. Yeah, he, he's on that steroids. He's on the Wee Wee or something. He's on something. Being a gym leader is even harder than I imagined. The next thing is to, 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 make, uh, or to make it so that you can use a seed gear. Seeger is a cool device for book communication such as infrared connection and Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. And look at that. We get ourselves a Seeger and yes, we're going to activate it. And just like that, look at that, look at that. Yes. Check this. The Seeger was activated and the screen showed up. If you touch the question mark icon in the bottom right corner of the Seeger screen, you can actually, you can read about the Seeger. Like, what are you doing right now? You know, there's another Pokemon gym in Verbank City, which is just past Flossessie Town. Mm, true. Okay, so that is pretty much it right there for that episode, guys. Wow, it was a long episode. Not really a long episode, but we got ourselves our very first badge. In the next episode, we are going to be going to Verbank City, and we're going to be kicking some butt, taking some names, and everything else in between. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the first week of our newest walkthroughs, Pokemon Black and White 2, Pokemon uh, Sword. And uh, stay tuned, guys, because the weekend is coming. The weekend is here, I should say. And, well, you are going to be seeing uh, something pretty interesting, something that we have never tried before. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys for, again for supporting. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, the notifications button. I will see you guys in the next episode as we continue our adventure right here in the Unova region again. See you guys.